Hey guys, and welcome to a YouTube by Bulb Tips video. Today is tip number one, and that is how to optimize your performance using NVIDIA Control Panel. Well, obviously, you need an NVIDIA graphics card in order to have NVIDIA Control Panel. And in order to access NVIDIA Control Panel, just right click anywhere on your desktop and then click NVIDIA Control Panel. Okay? So, as you can see here, and if it's your first time in NVIDIA Control Panel, you're going to come up with this screen, alright? It's going to show you a preview of an image. Uh, basically, this doesn't really matter at this point. You want to select Use the Advanced 3D Image Settings. Okay, make sure that's selected and nothing else. Now we're going to go under the 3D Settings and then click Manage 3D Settings. Okay. Now first we're going to go on the Global Settings page. Now if you have an SLI ready video card, doesn't mean you necessarily have SLI. But if you do have SLI, which means you have two graphics cards connected with an SLI bridge you have an extra option of selecting SLI rendering mode. In this case, S um, NVIDIA has their own profiles for games su that support SLI, but if your game does not support SLI, then you can select Force Alternate Frame Rendering 2. Okay, And uh, that's the best idea for games, older games, basically. Most games that are newer do support SLI, so if it does, just click NVIDIA Recommended. Next on your mul uh, your global settings, you want to set the multi display slash mixed GPU acceleration to single display performance mode unless you're using uh, multiple screen solution. If not, if you just got one screen, the performance mode is the best. You're going to get the best uh, performance off of that. Make sure that uh, your power management mode is set to adaptive. But if you do have an overclock graphics card, I don't have it set right now. You want prefer maximum performance under those settings. Under texture filtering, negative LOD bi bias, you want to set it to allow for best performance. Clamp, uh, for older games, you're going to have better graphics quality at lower performance. Texture filtering quality. Now, um, if you are a user who has a fairly high, um, fairly high graphics card, then you're going to uh, select quality, obviously, right? But then, if you want better performance, you want to click high performance, obviously. Very simple. Threaded optimization, auto on, off, it doesn't matter. If you have a single core, it won't really make a difference, so auto, just leave it there. If you have a multi-core system, such as a dual or quad or even the new hexa cores, select on, that's probably the best bet. Triple buffering, nope, that's going to kill your frames. And use vertical sync. Well, we're going to use the 3D application settings. Uh, just manually disable it at your application settings inside your game. Uh, that's pretty much it. You want to keep everything here application controlled. Um, mander, uh, maximum pre rendered frames at 3, keep it there. Uh, if you're playing in first person shooter, uh, you know, 3, three doesn't really make a difference from 0, so don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, just follow these settings here and you'll get the best performance. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.